What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Seftimore Podcast. Been away for a little while. Uh, had to do some changing here because I start streaming again, so I didn't have the time to record these podcasts. But we'll get them done. Promise. Got more. Just put out a new article today, Chapter Three of the upcoming ebook. Check that out at SeftimoreLive.com, where we're on right now, which you can see on the screen if you're watching on YouTube or Instagram. Uh, so let's dive right into it. This is, uh, another part of the life control series, which is regret and anxiety. We can have big goals. I love striving for things that seem unattainable. For example, I love writing. I love streaming. The chances of me becoming the next ninja or Stephen King are highly unlikely. Am I ready to put in the time needed to achieve that level of success? Do I understand that I need less social media consumption and more writing, more doing? Am I going to risk getting less sleep so I can stream more? Do I have the strength to accept the responsibilities that come with all of this? If I achieve success in any of these platforms, the demands of myself would increase. We have stress in our lives now. Could we deal with even more by becoming an influencer on a specific platform? Society and social media have made being the best of the best in demand. It has a put, a put a veil over real life. Social media shows us the best moments in people's lives. Instead of documenting our journey, we create false stories. What about being comfortable with who we are? Expectations of what we should be will get us nowhere. All they get us are feelings of depression and anxiety. Expectations make us feel that we're not living up to society's norms. None of what I said means that we should give up on our goals. No matter what happens in this space, we need to move forward. If we don't, we will experience the worst emotion, which is regret. Long hours and working hard are the minimum requirements in this game. If that's what it takes to reach our dreams, we will get it done by any means necessary. We cannot lose focus on why we started this journey to begin with. Too many times we dwell on the things we don't have. These things are usually trivial to our success. You may be saying to yourself, I don't need to lose weight or I don't need to become an influencer, which is fine. Until you see someone that was in your exact position a few years ago having success in that field. You may see someone who lost a ton of weight or created the same type of content that you were before you decided not to. Where they persevered through hard times, we quit. And now we live with regret. We must take a survey of our actual needs, making sure our eyes never get off the prize. The process is a journey. One we must be willing to play for life. If we want a better life, we need to create a plan, take massive action, and be consistent. Our lives aren't always going to allow us to be striving towards what we want. We need to be making sure we are executing at every opportunity that we can. Creativity takes countless hours every week. We need to produce, send it out into the world. If you don't have the hours to spend on your goals, it may be time to reevaluate. Fake it till you make it can only take you so far. Do not pretend to be something that you are not. Accept your life as it is in the moment and move forward. When you start to love the life you have, when you are grateful, time opens back up to tackle those goals once again. I do not want to hit the gym every day to better my health. I would rather spend time with friends and family rather than create a new business. Whatever your truth is, then be 100% about it. Once you accept these things, you will have a life you will not have a life filled with regret and anxiety. You will be present in your current life situation. The pretending will stop. It is here where we can build our plan for the future. It is here where we can pursue our goals. When the time is right, not when we think we should be. In any in any space here, we have regrets, we have anxiety. What I'm trying to say is that if you're not fully into something, be okay with reevaluating, be okay with taking that step back, be okay with like I said, I didn't have a podcast put out in like two weeks. So be okay with, with that with life happening. Don't get down because the game is for life. That's the thing that I was watching a video today on, on YouTube. And I was just thinking like, this is it. Like you can't stop with the, There's no alternative. It doesn't matter. 
we play this game for life if we win or lose. Because the, the other thing is just depressing. The other thing is doing what everyone else does. We don't want to be that. We want to just keep creating. Just keep making. Who cares where it goes? The alternative sucks. I'm not saying not to chill and watch Netflix and have a good time and go out with friends and family and all that. But what I'm saying is that if you're feeling uh, something is missing from your life, this is, what, this is why. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Please like, subscribe, comment on YouTube, the podcast, all of it. I appreciate everything. Share this with anybody. Share this podcast. Tell these, tell, get this podcast out there. I think it could help many, many more people if we just told people about it or, or directed them towards a certain video or a certain podcast that would help them. If you want to support me, I have links on my blog at septimorelive.com for Amazon, uh, streamlabs.com slash septimore. If you want to tip the podcast, always appreciated. Podcast subscriptions are around. I never usually say that, but going Totally going to say it this time. Uh, if you want to follow me on, and of course, everything is free. Uh, there's never a, a paywall. If you want, uh, septimorelive.com is the home base where everything is. I'm on Medium, Twitter, Instagram, Mixer. My, my podcast and Facebook are all at Septimore. Podcast is anchor.fm slash Septimore. YouTube is Septimore Live. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.